guys, Chubby come at you for a bit of a how-to video. So I've got a draft system which you're sitting on and I need to clean the lines. But I want to do this as easily and as cheaply as possible. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to build myself a, a submersible pump for circulation system for the, the, to clean the pipes really. So a few things I'll need. 12 volt power supply. So any old um, cell phone charger, as long as it says 12 volt in the back, it should be good. A little 12 volt pump. It's 12 volt, isn't it? Yeah, 12 volt. So I got this with AliExpress. I think I got two of them for six bucks, including shipping. So not too bad. If it fucks up, toss it away, re replace it. You also need one of these, which you guys would know if you force carbonate in bottles. So it's one of these bad boys. So basically that, and then all right, some pipe. So the way I'm gonna do it is that one pipe's gonna go into a container with the clean solution, I'm gonna suck it up, gonna go out there through the pipe, through there, which then your corny keg will, or your corny keg connection your kick connection will click on there and then recirculate through back into the container and then you'll have a constant loop so that's what I'm going to do I won't show how I do everything I'll do a quick overview at the end because you guys know how to solder I hope if not you'll learn but you will need a soldering iron I've got this one this is just a gas power one so let's get to it those are the parts I'll put a description down in the, the comments and hopefully I'll do get some footage, but it's basically attaching, cutting the tip off there, taking the two wires, attaching it to there, put some uh, heat shrink on so it doesn't short out, and then connecting up pipes, and then that's it. So let me get to it and I'll show you the end result. Okay guys, so power supply, pump, and I'll join. So I didn't show this to you because well, I'm maybe not the best person to show you how to solder, but you can do it. So just attach the power and the negative to power the negative of the charger and you're good to go. Next version two of this, I'd like to put a rheostat in between, which controls how much power gets through. Because right now you put on it's full ball, which would be nice to actually maybe be able to control that. But this is, I got another pump, so that's project two. But here we go. I'm going to put a bit more shrink wrap on that just to make sure it's all nicely tied up so no loose wires you don't want that because I'll short out but the next bit is to attach this side so I've got to figure out which is the pump and which is the suck so here you go boys there's the finished product project really so you can see it's sucking up through the, the pipe going up going out to the connection which is connected to my ball valve ball yeah that thing going all around cleaning out the line and coming back in and giving me a good little bit of uh, flow there. So that's how I'm going to be cleaning my lines from now on. Quick, easy, and under 10 bucks. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you're going to bother yourself. And yeah.